Welcome back. Today we're going to look at voicing. So we've got a tuning fork from a Fender Rhodes piano and a pickup. And life isn't that simple. The sound is hugely determined by what relationship these two components are to each other. So the time can be higher or lower than the center line of the pickup. And this creates a different wave shape and a different sound. We could also move the pickup towards and away from the tine, and once more, this changes the, the sound of the pickup. We could also change the angle, and what we're going to do today is just play around with the front screw, and that's going to change the angle and the height, and we're going to play a range of different sounds, and I'm curious to know which one you find the most pleasing. So I'm going to play them all 18 in a row, and then I'm going to play them again, but I'm going to show the wave shape, I'm going to show the EQ, and then in the comments, please let us know which one you think is the best. So I've removed the pickup so we can get a clearer view, and I'm just going to play with a screw position. Okay, let's start with the tine at the highest. This is position one. I'm going to play them all again and let me know which one you think is the best. Fender Rhodes is a complex machine and being able to understand it and tweak it to get the best sound that you want from it is key. So I hope this video helps others understand what voicing the piano means. And if a note does sound off, you can play with these screws to get the sound you want and get it to sound similar to the ones around it. I don't believe that there is a wrong way of voicing other than if it's inconsistent. So I would say have a play around, see what sounds good to you. But that's it for today. <laughs> 